under this blue, the summit right, up the chill, up the middle, the street, let's go. Johnny's got the fucking minerals, mate. <laughs>Let's have it right up the Chels, up the Minerals FC. Big up to every single one of you in here. As always, guys, you know what to do. The first, first and foremost, most important thing, guys, hit that like button. Smash the pieces, the like button, guys. Everyone that's in here locked in, late night minerals, smash that like button. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe to the Minerals FC um, we've got the Minerals FC membership as well, pinned at the top of the live chat. Hit your notifications buttons, guys, and get straight into that chat and land your minerals. Big up to every single one of you. Every single one of you. Without, the, without you lot, this platform is not possible. And obviously, I've, I've not done a stream for about, well, it's been a week today, I think. A week today, no stream. Um, I've been unindated with my work and that I've been literally knackered but let's have it right today tonight we're going to talk about a lot of things and we're going to say it as it is as always you know the deal guys you know exactly what's coming um so like I say very important guys hit the like button it really helps the channel I haven't done any content for a week. Can you believe it? Do you know what I mean? And listen, I'm missing Chelsea, mate. Honestly, the World Cup's great and everything, and I'm loving the World Cup, but it's nothing like Chelsea. It's absolutely nothing like Chelsea. So um, please, guys, um, keep interacting, keep your notifications on, and I will try and do as much uh, more content, definitely when the knockout stages uh, progress uh, in the World Cup, and um, we'll see what happens. There's a lot to talk about, really. Um, I've, I've obviously there's so much I wanted to get off my chest, and um, I'm going to do that tonight, and I'm going to say exactly how I feel. Um, so yeah, as always, guys, up the Chelsea, up the Minerals FC. Let's have it right. Let's get stuck in, and um, let me get into the comments straight away. Um, right, so we got uh, mixers in here. Um, Big up to Mitchy boy. Um, I did see he's become a member tonight. Big up to you, Mitchy. Appreciate all your support to the channel um, and Land of the Minerals. Um, and thank you, Soup Minerals. He says, I'll be drinking wrong as tears when MM19 re-signs in my mineral mug. Need to have a special stream for that Johnny boy. I will, 100%. Because he will sign. He will sign a contract. He will stay. So all the wrong that want him out and say, get rid you're all going to be in the mud. Every single one of you is going to be in the mud. And I'm going to be there to remind you exactly what you've been saying and what nonsense you've been talking. I will always be there. 
And I will be there to mud every single one of them because the real Chelsea fans, the proper Chelsea, they understand about Mason Mount, yeah? The ones that so-called go on like they're proper Chelsea and that they love this club, they're not acting like it. So we're going we're gonna to delve into that and we're going to literally... I'm going to throw everyone under the bus as usual. The Minnows FC, fucking great, massive coach that it is. Yeah, the Titanic, bruv. And this Titanic don't sink, mate. Just cruises along, mate. Cruises along. So big up to you, Mitchy. Big up to Nutty Blue in here. My geezer, there is no Minnows at Chelsea at the moment. So why would MM sign? Need to get Rice in ASAP. Listen, let's have it right. You know, it's all this talk about Mason Mount. Um... Yet the team itself, talking at Chelsea, we need a lot of players. And we need top quality players. And you'll reap the rewards of Mason Mount with these players around him. But right now, the players around him are just not benefiting him. They're not good enough. And that's the problem. That is the problem, guys. We don't have enough quality in our current squad to elevate and bring out the quality and play as a team with balance at the moment. We just don't have it. And that's a fact. It's clear to see, but everyone wants to scapegoat Minnell's man. That's what they want to do. It's like they it's like they've got to do it. You know, I put it down to they were never breastfed. Um they they just didn't get the vitamins, bruv. They didn't get their minerals, mate, you know, and they lack it. They fucking lack it. I'll tell you that now. Um, and, and that's the problem. And I'm seeing content creators. We know about the brown envelopes and we're going to delve into the brown envelopes. But I've seen content creators. They're all riding on each other. Every single one of them. All right. They're sucking on the pipes of every single one of them in a lovely little circle. And they all push out the same nonsense. All wrong uns, Every single one of them. All wrong uns. And they know exactly who they are and they'll be named and shamed on here. Standard. Don't bother me. I'll say what I want, when I want, how I want. No one can say shit to me. You know what I mean? No one can say nothing. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I will do that tonight. Don't you worry. And we're going to feast. And we will drink in the minerals. And they're going to have to drink it in and lap it up. And just take it. You know what I mean? They're going to have to take it. Um, so big up to all you guys, big up to all you guys. Uh, <laughs> dead man fingers will be drank if MM signs this have it right. Mixed big up to you. I'm a big MM19 fan, big up to you. All the real Chelsea boy, Chelsea fans, they understand about Minnell's man. You know, if you don't get it now, then I don't think you ever will. It's like if you ain't, a, ain't ever going to be a rocket scientist, you never will be, bruv. You know, and that's the same thing, same, same. But, uh, you can associate that with Mason Mount and these these uh, idiot idiots who talk idiotic bo bollocks, yeah, bo 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 bollocks, yeah. They've got ball very. They've all got their each other's ball bags in their mouths. Um, talk waffle, mate, and they love to feed in whatever the whatever the sheep want to hear. And this is this is where you have to question them. You know, you have to question people like this. What, what what's the going rate here? Is it is it just the clickbait stuff? Is it is it to please the brown envelopes? Is it to get in the circle? Is it to get higher up the ladder? Is it to feed in a narrative that everyone is is, is buying it, biting into? They're loving it at the minute. All right. Um, what is it? Because it's not supporting. It's not understanding. They don't have any business fucking clue. They, I don't know. Maybe they just, they're not old enough. Uh, maybe they've never had their own business. Maybe they don't know how negotiations work. Maybe they, I don't know what it is. Maybe they're just uneducated. Maybe they're just uneducated. Um, and we have to take it with a pinch of salt, guys. What you listen to, you have to take it with a pinch of salt because there's a lot of nonsense, a lot of toxicity out there. And we have to be wary of it. And that's why I don't want to come on my platform and just talk about Mason Mount. But when you when you bring up nonsense and I see it and I hear it 
I have no choice but to talk about it. I can talk about England. I can talk about Messi tonight. I can talk about all sorts of stuff. But it's these wrong'uns that just want to prod. They want to poke the bear. That's all they want to do, these lot. They want to poke the bear. But you can poke the bear, but you don't want the minerals landed on you. That's the problem. They don't like it. Minerals FC lives rent-free in their heads. We know that. It's not a problem. We just do what we do. We say it how it is. We, we love our club. We love our players. We love Minerals Mount. We love Reese James. We love all our players, yeah? That's what we do. But when you've got fucking stinky agendas, toxic agendas, feeding into the wrong ones, feeding into all the plastics on the on the timelines, then there's an issue there. Something has to be said about it. And that's where I come in. And, uh, you know, I'm glad I've set up this platform because it gives me the opportunity to do that. And no one can do a fucking thing about it. That's the beauty of it. No one can do bollocks. Nothing. Just stick their tails in between their legs. That's all they're going to do. So anyway, let me run through the comments. We're going to dive straight into it, people. Yeah, we're going to just get into it, mate. Because I'm I'm trying to be calm, guys. I'm trying to be relaxed, yeah? Because like that, I can switch. Um, yeah, Stefan, stop your nonsense, fella, yeah? Stop all that shit. You get one warning here. You want to bring that shit in here. You're timed out. I don't want your subscription. You can fuck off. Yeah, I don't want shit like that on my stream and in my chat. Yeah, you got to respect everyone, yeah? Never get personal. Listen, let's have it right. There's a reason why I don't, don't go on Lewis's shit fucking toxic bollocks, yeah? All right? With his absolute wrong -uns. Yeah, I don't do that no more. I didn't go on monsters and all his wrong uns, bruv. I don't mix with wrong uns anymore because all they're about is toxicity. Yeah, all they're about is feeding narratives. I ain't, I ain't about it. So I do what I want when I please. So I left because people want to get personal. Yeah, and I've heard recent people. People calling me a cunt and this and that. I'd love to, you to do it to my face. I'd absolutely love it if you said that to my face. But the chances are you never fucking will. And you ain't got no minerals to do that. Yeah? So there's a reason why I left all these platforms, mate. And there's no respect. It's about football. Talking football. You want to get personal, do it to someone's face. Don't do it behind a monitor. doesn't mean nothing. It's, it's, it's meaningless. It's cowardly. So um, this is the reason, guys. So, yeah, you, Stefan, mate, you want to calm your beans, fella. Yeah, you calm your beans. And that's a warning. Anyone see him do that shit again, he's out of here. And like I say, I don't care about subscriptions. I don't care about all that stuff. I don't care about views. I care about putting out a message. And that message, what that fella's written, is wrong. And we don't tolerate shit like that. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Big up Leo in here, my geezer. Big up to you, geezer. Um, Bobby's in here. Lovely to see you in here, Bobby. Big up to Johnny and the chat. Big up to you, geezer. My geezer. Let's have it right. Chelsea old boys. My geezer. Smash the likes and subscribe to the best Chelsea platform. Let's have it right up the Minnows FC. Big up to you, Chelsea old boys. Lovely, lovely to hear from you. Always in here, mate. He never misses a stream. Let's have it right. We know what's coming, guys. We see things that they'll never see. We are the biggest club, the most elite club in London. We know that. We know that. And we need to, listen, all these content creators that delve with the Arsenal lot, yeah, regular. They do all this regular shit. They get, they get, flirty with them yeah and they fucking mud their own players in front of them and get them of course they're going to agree with you they're a rival yeah they're a rival they're going to agree with what you say they love that you're mudding your players yeah it's pathetic no backbone no minerals wishy-washy 
piss poor. And we don't do that here. Yeah. Big up Chelsea, old boys. My geezer, absolute legend, proper Chelsea. Uh, and we move. Let's have it right. Uh, Cameron's in here. Big up to you, geezer. Um, let's just run through. Jacob, Dino, Bill Boy, Cursor's in here. Uh, Francis, big up to you, Francis. Big up to you, geezer. Who's in here? Let's have a look. Indigo's in here. Catman. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Big up straight as my geezer. Big up Johnny. Take him to the cleaners. Absolutely right, mate. Absolutely right. Uh, big up to Jacob. Big up Johnny. Thoughts on Trev. Where you? I'm going to talk about that. It's fantastic news. I'm so happy for Trev. Uh, proper Chels. Fucking absolutely deserves his contract. Um, there was talk of him leaving in the summer, and now he's obviously he's 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 worked his way back in the team um, with Fafana's injury. And look at him, look at him. I mean, he's a, he's a we know he's a talent, we know he's a baller. Um, he's got minerals. And uh, listen, you need players like that. You need players from Cobham with that level of quality at a young age to be at your football club and not let them go somewhere else and develop. And be world class. No, we want him at Chelsea, and that's exactly what we've done. And we've signed him down, and he's staying at our football club. And I'm I'm so happy for Trev. Trev Berezi, let's have it right. We know why we call him Trev Berezi. Let me remind everyone why he's Trev Berezi, yeah? Because Thiago Silva plays and he's, he's learning off Thiago Silva, Trev, yeah. And Thiago Silva learned off Maldini Nesta. And who did they learn off? They learned off Berezi. So we're gonna call Trev. Berezi, Trev Berezi, let's have it right. Trev Minerals Berezi, all day long. Baller, um, love him to bits, and I'm so happy, well deserved, and, and we have to support him. You know, he's going to be a great player, guys. Um, and you can see he's developing. He's developed under Tuchel. Tuchel. Tuchel brought him in. Tuchel chose him, said, I don't want that four foot little midget. In Kunde, and he went to Brokelona, and look where he is. He's not in playing Champions League. Oh, well, what a shame. Jog on, mate. <laughs> Jog on. See you later, Kunde. You fraud. Um, and, and then we've got Trev, you know what I mean? And he took Trev, and he moulded him, and he's learning off Thiago Silva. And this is what it's all about, guys. It's what it's all about. Let him play as develop at a young age, at an elite level, at an elite club. And this is what Trev's done. He's got that now. Yeah, so fantastic news, guys. Fantastic news. Big up to Jacob for bringing that up, as I was going to do it, but we've spoken about it a little bit earlier. Uh, listen, big up to Cursor. The content creators have a master's degree in brown envelopism. Let's have it right. There's a lot of them here. Whether they're brown envelopes, whether they're associated with brown envelopes, whether they want to be a brown envelope. You know, it's, it's all part of the game, guys. It's all part of this narrative. This is, this is what we're seeing. And I'm highlighting it. Day in, day out. It is like that. So we have to, um, like I say, go with a pinch of salt at the very least. I don't know, mate. I don't even know if you want to do a pinch of salt. It's not even worth it. Um, but we're going to get into it. Big up to Leo. The minerals is there. Let's have it right. Drinking the minerals, as Francis says. We drink in the minerals, bruv. Um, is that right, Rob? Phone's on 225k. Wow. 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 Isn't that interesting? Foden's on 225k, is he? But these wrongers don't want to pay Mason Mount 200 grand. They want to pay him 150 grand. Ha! <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. We all heard Sterling come out about Minnell's Mount with Walker um, and Cody. They're saying, oh, he's naturally talented Foden, but who's up there with him? And they brought up Mason Mount. Who else? you got Grealish in there. you got Madison in there. you got Saka. you got Sancho. you got Rashford. But they brought up Mason Mount. Mason Mount. Yeah. Sterling even said, to this day, the greatest training session I've ever witnessed. Mason Mount. Coming from Derby into the England squad. Best train session, session. Nothing's topped it. Go on my TikTok. Watch it. It's hit over 350k views, 25k likes, because people understand that. All right? And that's TikTok. Yeah. 
All right. Minnell's FC TikTok. Yeah. You can go and watch it. And you hear Sterling landing the minerals. About Mason Mount training. Good old Eunice should know about Mason Mount training because he went to Cobham. Yeah. Did he or did he not? He went to Cobham and saw that he was the best trainer there at Chelsea after fucking mudding him, throwing shit at him, disrespecting him, going on with that wrong and mizzy, 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 and uh, Matisse, hold off the contract. Oh, no, 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 hold off the contract. Very hard to give praise to Mason Mount. Very, very hard. Yeah, very, very hard. And then say yesterday that Mason Mount was a ghost. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to be, you know, just because it's Chelsea. I'm going to say it how it is. You know, he was a ghost. Oh, apart from the shot that made the goalkeeper make a save and it was the only best chance that England had. Um, oh, that I can't believe he stayed on for 90 minutes. Bring on Foden and play him as an 8-10. Yeah talking shit about your player, yeah, but yet you'll go to Cobham, Mr. Eunice, you go to Cobham and you'll have uh, Mason Mount there, take a picture, get him to sign your shirt. These are what I'm talking about. These are little brown envelope wannabes. They, they, they're they so two-faced. Only when it suits them, it's all happy-go-lucky. But then they go on their platforms and they spit the same fucking narrative all right, of everyone else. Think about that. Oh, Mr. Nice Guy, yeah? Mr. Nice Guy, two-faced, bruv. Absolutely two-faced. And I'm saying it, bruv. I'm the only one on the fucking platform that will come out and say that. And I just did. Two-faced as fuck. And he got that Mizzy... Wrong and bruv, yeah. Going Mason Mount's like Milner. If I compare him to any player in the world, it's Milner, yeah. Yet he has senior minerals mount on his platform. Would they he wouldn't fucking dare, bruv? He wouldn't dare to say Mason Mount is like Milner to his face. I guarantee it. No one wants to talk about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, we agree with him. Yeah, yeah, because all the haters call him Mason Milner. That's where you trigger it. That's where you take the piss, son. And that's why I'm mudding you right now. Every single one of you. Little Matisse, the little fucking toothpick as well, going on. Oh, yeah, hold off the contract. He doesn't deserve a contract. He doesn't deserve anywhere near fucking Reese James. Being our most consistent player, you mug. You absolute mug, you brown envelope with Don Robbie. Fucking, and you're representing Chelsea. Give me a break. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah? I want to hear what he thinks about the 300k a week. I'd love to hear. You see, these people are so stupid, bruv. Yeah? So stupid. Even Gunny, bruv. Gunny, what the fuck's on you, bruv? Let's have it right. Let's have it right. He's got to prove that he's worth 300 grand. Prove what, mate? Prove what? Has he not proved enough? Oh, he's nowhere near Reese James. Another one. Another one. Prove what, fella? Because you're in that same circle with fucking Eunice and Matisse and all that shit. And you spit on there with Lee Gunner, a rival fan, digging out Mason Mount. Oh, he's got to prove what? Prove fucking what, bruv? He ain't proved enough. Being player of the season twice. Stat padding for fucking fun. Being our most consistent player. Playing in a team that's so fucking imbalanced. Prove what? At 23 years old, what? Do we expect him to be in his prime? 300 grand, 300 grand, bruv. Sterling's coming in at 300 grand. What's Sterling done for Chelsea compared to Mason Mount? Nothing. 
So we're going on with Sterling. Oh, yeah, he's got credibility because of what he's done in the past. Well, Mason Mount in the past has delivered at Chelsea Football Club at a fucking high elite level. So he deserves his money, whether it's 250, 300 grand. What's it to fucking you lot? It ain't coming out your pocket, sunshines, is it? Is it coming out of your pocket? No, it's coming out of Bowley and Clear Lake. And let's talk about Todd Bowley, shall we? Yeah? Picking to use the brown envelopes after England draw nil-nil to USA to bring up that Mason Mount turned out 200 grand. Where are you getting 200 grand, mate? We were told 150 grand. Now it's 200 grand? And he's not negotiating at the World Cup because he's at the World Cup. So where, where, where's the pool keys here? You're trying to shaft Mason Mount now. You're trying to push him into a corner to sign a contract, yeah, that he doesn't want to sign because he doesn't feel valued. And damn right he doesn't feel valued. But you use all the brown envelopes, yeah? Conveniently. Look at the timing of it. They've done it after the Newcastle game we lost. Now they're doing it after the England game that we drew, which wasn't even a bad point, to be honest. USA did fuck all to win that game. England had probably, for me, the best chance, apart from Pulisic cheating the crossbar. What the fuck did USA do? They're just good athletes. They ain't got no technical ability, bruv. Southgate was playing for a draw. So what are we going to say here? We're going to believe the brown envelopes. And do you know what Bowley's done here? He's turned the fan base on Mason Mount. Oh, look at Lewis going on. Mason Mount. Oh, Mason Mount. He's holding our club to ransom. Is he fuck? How's he holding us to ransom? What about Lukaku holding us to fucking ransom, bruv? Yeah? No one but an eyelid that he's on over 400 grand a week. Oh, we're all happy to pay Lukaku 400 grand a week, but we don't play our proper Chelsea boy who served our football club, won us Champions Leagues and clutch moments of fucking stat padded and number one in all, all departments, but we're not going to pay him what he wants. Oh, he's got to perform at 300, K, 300 grand a week. Well, Foden's on 225 grand. And Foden's still a bit part player at Manchester City. He's not even a fucking regular. Only this season, last season, really. All the other previous seasons, he was just cotton walled by Pep. Mason Man ain't been cotton walled, son. He's been thrown in there, in the deep end, landing the minerals. He's a first starter for England and Chelsea consistently because there's a reason why. There's a reason why he's like that, mate. There's a reason why Sterling comes out and talks about his training. There's a reason why Eunice goes and witnesses it with his two fucking eyeballs, which must have shit in his eyes every time he watches Mason Mount, even for England. Most of the fan base, they don't understand Mason Mount. This is the thing. They don't get it. And because they don't understand it, they talk waffle, mate, yeah? And I've got a lovely little article here breaking down, and I'll go into that. I'll go into that. I'll definitely go into that. Yeah? You know what? I'm just going to land it, bruv. I'm fucking on fire tonight. You know that? I'm on fire. I can give a toss. So I'm, uh, you know what I mean? I'm not really going to get into the comments, guys. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Oh, dear, guys. This is this is poor what I'm seeing from the fan base. It's very, very poor. Very, very poor. Make sure you hit that like button. There's over 100 people in here. It's fantastic considering the algorithm is absolutely piss poor and shocking. Um, and that's pretty decent considering I haven't streamed for a whole week. Big up to you. Big up to Rob. He knows the deal. He gets it, bruv. He gets it. Dino gets it. There's a lot of people in here that get it, and there's a lot of people that don't. Big up, being Ron. Listen, let's have it right. You see, this is how people don't understand football, right? And when I say you don't, you don't know ball, bruv. When you don't know ball, and you're selling, you're you're asking. You're asking for Mason Mount to come off for Phil Foden, and Phil Foden doesn't even play as a fucking 10. Yeah? Doesn't even play as a 10. 
for City, what makes you think he's going to play as a 10 for England? And in fact, the games that Foden's played for England, the last sort of four or five games, it's been fucking shocking, bruv. All right? If you're talking about bringing Foden on, mate, yeah? If you're talking about bringing Foden on, yeah? You play him for either Saka or Sterling. That's where he goes. Same with Grealish. Yeah? Same with Grealish. But these wrong want to want to swap Foden for Mount. It's laughable. Do you think do you think Foden's built to do the work rate, off the ball work? The digging in, the pressing. Mason Mount led the press for England. He's a fucking midfield, he's playing the midfield three. Yeah. 10 8 position. And he's leading the press. Where's Harry Kane, Sterling, and Zaka, bruv? Where's their pressing from the front line, mate? Where is it? But yet yeah, Mason Mount's up there. Pressing. You got Harry Di Harry fucking Houdini Kane, bruv. Yeah, for the last two games, all right? No one blinks an eyelid on that one. Nagisa's so deep, he's nutting his misses, mate, and no one speaks on it. He's playing fucking number six with Rice, bro. Yeah, that's how deep he is. You've got Sterling and Saka tracking the other players. They're going deep. So every time, you know, do you know the two foot, two players in the forward positions were? Was Mason Mount and Bellingham, mate. They were the only two trying to be progressive. Everyone else fucking so deep, mate. So deep. But no one get no one no one sees this. It's like they don't watch it. Now everyone could see that England England weren't playing very well. The 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 instructions from that fraud of a manager. Um, no one talks about that. They're just like Southgate out, but it doesn't. They don't talk about his reflection on his tactics and how it imp, imp, inflicts on the players and how they fucking perform or what they've been told to do. You know what I mean? They've been told to, to take instructions. They have to do it. And if they don't do it, do you know what happens? Funny enough, in football, the gaffer doesn't play you the next game. And the players don't want to risk that because they want to play every game at World Cups. So and Mason Mount, Bellingham, Rice, they'll do what they're told. Yeah, Sterling, Saka, they'll do what they're told. But Saka was fucking shocking that game. Kane was shocking that game. And yet everyone, everyone wants to scapegoat Mason Mount. It's like England lose or draw. Or don't play well, Mason Mount's the one. We're going to fucking finger point him. How's he playing? How's not Foden playing? Oh, Gary Neville, you wrong him. Oh, Foden this, Foden that. Yeah, yeah. All right. All the Chelsea fans sucking on the pipe of Phil Foden, a Manchester City player. Yeah. For England. Having a battle between Mount. Just tells you don't understand the tactics. You don't understand football. Yeah. Let's have it right, bruv. No one talks about Saka, bruv. Saka was shocking in that game. He lost the ball how many times as well? Sterling did all right. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not, I'm not having it, bruv. I'm not having anyone come. Just at Mason Mount. It's wrong. Bellingham got dispossessed in the midfield how many times? Because he's trying to be progressive, bruv. Yeah? He's trying to be progressive, mate. Trying to make things happen. The balance weren't there, as always. Southgate is a fraud. We know that. His in-game management skills are piss poor. He brought on Grealish. What did Grealish do, guys? Tell me. Everyone wants Grealish and Foden. What do they fucking well do? What did Grealish do, bro? Do you know what? He's a selfish player. He loves to dribble. He loves to hold the ball. But one thing he did do... He helped Mason Mount. He allowed him to use him as a decoy. Mason Mount gets into the pockets of space. Very clever player. Very intelligent player. Why are the other players not on that level? Why are they not intelligent like that? It's all flicks and tricks and this and that. And, it, and people look at Mbappe, right? And Mbappe scored two goals, yeah? And he scored a goal against... Uh, who was the, the first group game they played? A shit team, all right? And this is the going narrative, right? I'm going to land it right now. So no one, no one discredits Mbappe for scoring. Let's find out who it is. Just so I know who it is. Just so I know exactly. Yeah, bro. Just so I know. Australia, shocking team, bro. All right, Giroud scores. Uh, Mbappe scores against Australia. We all know they're crap. Yeah. We all know they're shit. But no one discredits their goals for scoring against Australia. But when it's Mason Mount, 
or an England player scoring against Iran. Oh, it's Iran. It's just Iran. Do you know what I mean? Like, so where, where, what are we doing here? Are we moving the goalposts, bruv? Is that what we're doing here? To suit the agenda? It's all agenda merchants, bruv. You see, you don't know the value of, of minerals, man. You, you generally don't. You clearly don't. Every manager knows it. All the players know it. Fuck me, even Grealish, bruv. Comes out if you don't understand Mason Mount and you just you don't get it. And that's Grealish, the player that everyone adores. Yeah. The guy that doesn't even play for England first teamer. Mason Mount plays first team football. Club and country. You know, when Henderson came off, who was the player he called over to give instructions to? It's Mason Mount. It wasn't even the fucking captain in Harry Kane. Old spitface. So at the end of the day, guys. Where's the agenda here? This is full on agenda, yeah? Full on agenda. You know what I mean? All USA had was just high intensity, good running, good energy. That's it, bruv. That's all they had. Good energy. Yeah? But you could see Southgate was playing for a draw. It just looked like that. But this is the point. Anyway, let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it, yeah? Let's get into it. So I'm going to share the screen now. Uh, here we go. So uh, we've got the analysis here, yeah? So Mount at the heart of the attacking promise, dis uh, despite not being at their free-flowing best and struggling to make headway in the final third consistently, there were still many promising takeaways from uh, to be extracted from the clash with the organized, disciplined, and tough to play against USA. You see, USA did fuck all, right? They they were toothless, even with their Captain America, you know, who got man of the match. But we all know the man of the matches have been a long way from Starbucks, yeah. Um, so to start with, the movement of nominal number eights in Mason Mount and Jude Bellin was a real source of positivity, frequently attacking the spaces down the channels that were created when wingers Saka and Sterling dropped deep and were followed by their rep, uh, respected markers. This avenue provided plenty of offensive impetus, yeah? So there's a tactical game there. Now you can see Mason Mount's heat map. You can see Bellingham's heat map. They're both working very hard to be as progressive as possible, to get into the pockets, to try and make things happen, yeah? All right? So, wait to the gaps opening up. Mount and Bellingham immediately got on their bike by peeling off the back shoulder of their nearby marker to rapidly exploit these zones, which was duly amplified by Harry Kane pinning the central defenders. Only for a few moments, mate. Because Spitface, he's always fucking digging deep like he's nutting his missus. And it absolutely winds me up. Why, why is it necessary for this geezer to go so deep in the midfield when we need him as an outlet? That is what he's there for. He's there to score goals. He's a world-class finisher. We don't want him deep, bro. Right? So even though they weren't able to score, they still generated plenty of threat with this strategic, well-executed approach that put them in ideal locations to cut back the ball and fire crosses into the box versus an unbalanced American rear guard. Indeed, the examples below serve as a testament to how effectively they targeted these vacated areas with England dis dis deserve deserving credit for their preparation and shrewd mechanics. Yeah, again, we can see, so we've got Saka there, deep there. We've got Bellingham there. Bellingham again, running into the pockets of space. We've got a wonderful run here by Mason Mount in this pocket here that he runs into there, you know, and doesn't get the ball. This is the problem. The other players, countless times in that game, didn't play the right ball. They either hold it and go back, and then it starts all over again. So those two players in particular who run into positions that don't receive the ball have to work extra hard. Listen to this extra hard to get back into their midfield positions and alternate with Sterling and Sackers and Canes. And this is this was the problem. This is why it looked like the midfield was getting overrun. But you have to question the front line's duties as well. And then obviously the best chance for England, which was the Mason Mount shot that made the goalkeeper save. In fact, it was the only shot that England had that made the goalkeeper make a save um, in the first half. 
And the interactions between Mount and Sterling were another highlight with the pair regularly performing rotations to pull apart their adversaries, giving England some vital variety and causing dilemmas for opponents. There was much to admire about their dovetailing, sorry, dovetailing, yeah? Allowing Mount to go 1v1 in wide areas and Sterling to receive in dangerous locations between the lines centrally. This, in combination with the aforementioned tactic, ensured defenders were often caught in two minds that led to the dynamic duo getting the separation they needed to re wreak havoc on the ball or make calculate off the ball runs. When we talk about off the ball movement, off the ball intelligence, getting into pockets, which he did against Iran and was praised by all these fucking brown envelopes. And yet I've seen brown envelopes even saying, you know, thinking that phone's going to come on and dramatically change the game. You're, you're, you're dreaming, bro. You're dreaming. Yeah. No one can do what Mason Mount does. That's why he plays. But you see, these wrongers don't understand the value of him. They don't look at the... They, I don't know what they look. They just look at GA. That's all they look at, these, these wrongers, bruv. That's what they look at, GA. They don't look at anything else. You know what I mean? Um, additional aspects worth highlighting associated with England's wing-back arose from how the full-backs would rotate infield and how they'd form triangular shapes to facilitate facilitate third man combinations to bypass the US down the flanks. Funneling 74% of their attacks down the wing zones, 37% uh, down each side. This was a clear avenue Southgate sought to ex explore. So these are these are the tactics that Southgate set up, all right? So it shows that the players are doing what they're told, but at the same time, they're using their game intelligence as well, according to how they expected USA to set up. Now, we know USA, they come with you, high press, a lot of energy, and they get tied out in the second half as they did against, um, was it Wales? Yeah. Um, so it, it, it can happen. And, and they, they had their energy levels at a, good, at a good point. But England were too slow with the fucking ball, slow transitions, slow passing, sideways shit. Um, they don't pick out the runs of players. You're expecting... Uh, Trippier and and uh, Luke Shaw to pick out these balls and they ain't got the minerals to do that. So for me, you know, this is the problem, guys. Sometimes you have to look at the personnel in other departments and not fucking scapegoat just one player, yeah? Because that's not how it works, bruv. It's not how it works. So we have to, we have to understand and have tactical nous about it understand why he plays and he played 90 minutes he stayed on that pitch he weren't going off the moment you take him off where's your protection to your midfield two you brought on henderson who's even older all right with Declan rice because bellingham shot to pieces he's a young kid he's played a lot of minutes he's a baller but he got caught out a few times and he was he was losing energy and we needed in energy we needed intensity in the middle of the park. And that's exactly what we've done. Well, this is it. Um, this is it, Chelsea old boys. This is the problem. This is what it could come to, is that he leaves our football club, yeah? For him to go and ball out at Manchester City, because Pep will take him. And don't think that all these clubs that go and buy Mason Mount are paying him anything less than 300 grand. You're on fucking cloud nine. You are a long way from Starbucks. If you think that he's going to go and accept 200 grand, 150 grand going to another top club, no chance. In fact, he gets more money than what Bowley's going to pay him. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Uh, big up to Juan CFC up the Chelsea Johnny. Love the channel because I'm not um because I'm not into the negative agendas, but I've got to disagree on the 300k from out. Listen, you can disagree, geezer, but at the end of the day, yeah, if you're playing Reese James on 300k, all right, you're playing Sterling on 300k. Why is it all right to not play Mason Mount 300k? This is my issue, all right. And the thing is, you're not even comparing to Reese Reece James is a fucking right back, yeah. You're comparing uh, Mason Mount, who's an attacking 8-10. He's been our best 
performer in the front line, scored goals and assists. If you take away his goals and, his goals and assists, we don't achieve what we've achieved over the last three years. And that is very, very disrespected, yeah? Apart from all the stuff he does off the pit, off the ball, all the work, what he does for his teammates, intelligence, game intelligence, the fact that he's the fucking best trainer at our football club. You know, why is it all right to just discredit that? Oh, no, we'll pay him less. He doesn't deserve that. Don't deserve that. This is my issue with people. Yeah. Who the fuck are they to say, no, he doesn't deserve it? What, that, 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 their, their opinion's so fucking elite and spot on. Yeah. You don't think he goes to another club and gets absolutely exactly that because he will. So it is what it is. But big up to you for your suit minerals. Um, you know what I mean? It is what it is. But fuck all these wrong ones, bruv. They give up all these, all these agendas, mate. They all sing and dance the same tune. Every single one of them. They all fuck into the same tune. And I'm tired of it. It's boring. You know what? I don't fuck with no one, bruv. I don't fuck with anyone. I'm here on my J's, mate. Because I can't be asked for it. Yeah, good point, Adam. You know what mounts on now? Mounts on 75 grand a week. 75 grand a week. Why is it all right? Why is it all right? He's performed for three seasons and he's on 75 grand a week. Never button alighted. Never fucking spoke out. Never gave any shit. All right. Now his contract's coming to 18 months. Yeah. And he's negotiating. All you wrong ones are on his fucking knob. Yeah. Going, he's not allowed it. 75K. He hasn't said nothing. He deserves his big contract. The fact that you don't think that tells me you're just a pure agenda merchant, bruv. That's what you that's what you are. Agenda. Yeah. 88 grand. Well done, fella. 88 grand. 75, 88. It's fucking small change, bruv, in comparison what all these other owners are, are making, yeah. When you got Lukaku's coming in for a fucking 400 grand, and I've seen all that shit. Yeah. Sterling's on 300 grand. What do you want to say, son? What do you want to say? Reese James enthusiast, fuck off out of here, son. What you doing here? Penny pinching. Absolute penny pincher, bruv. Yeah? That's what you are. So this is my point. It's all right for him to have that money, small change. Yeah. For three seasons, not open his gob, not once when he could have. Reese James was on 40 or 45 grand, yeah. Currently four year deal. Currently four year deal. He was urgently getting a new contract. Do you think he's gonna wait another two, three years to get a, a negotiation to re renew his contract? Don't be stupid, bruv. Don't be stupid. That's why he signed so quickly. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, yeah, this is the facts. You want to get the best out of Mason Mount and all our attackers? Because what, you're telling me now under Potter, our attackers are all shit all of a sudden still? They're shit under Tuchel. They're shit under Lampard. Because you ain't got the key components in midfield, mate. You don't have the quick transitions. You don't have a DM. But it's all Mason Mount's fault. It's all Mason Mount. He's not Chelsea level, is he? Yeah, of course he's not. Shut up. Jog on. Jog on, mate. You see, they don't even understand the contracts, how it works. You see... The 300 grand, it could be a 250 base 
with all the all the targets and what Bowley wants to push this whole thing of we want you to, the players to be hungry and to to have that opportunity like you're doing commission at work and you want to earn commission so you, you're more motivated to perform at a high level and then your target is 300 grand yeah that's what you can get right but you don't want to talk about that I mean I don't know I've dealt with contracts I know contracts yeah but people don't talk about this stuff. They just see 300 grand and that's it. They don't understand the breakdown of it. They don't understand it. Um, so in the day, yeah, Reese James gets his 300 grand. He's not been as consistent Mason Mount. And, that, and that's truth. That's fact. He hasn't played as many games. He hasn't got the GA like Mason Mount. He's a fucking right back. You wouldn't expect him to have the GA like Mason Mount. But yeah, everyone's cool. We don't butt an eyelid for 300 grand on Reece James. Reece James is world class, as is Mason Mount. There's no question. But all this talk, the agenda changes. The goalposts move. Oh, no. Mason Mount, no, no, no. It's got to be under that. Yeah. So we so we, we obviously rate, do we? We, re we rate defenders higher than attackers, yeah? Is that what we do? Do you think all the attackers get uh, less money? than fucking defenders do around world football. Is that how it works, yeah? Fucking hell, mate. You lot are sleeping. You lot are sleeping. But this is this is what another thing is. You bring in Rice, you bring in Bellingham. What, you think they're not going to want 300 grand? 250, 300 grand? You think they're just going to walk in and take 150 grand when they've got offers from other clubs? This is part of the game. You pay players what they're worth. You pay players what they're worth. And Mason Mount is well within his rights and delivered to earn that money. Rightly so. And it doesn't need to be a seven-year contract. It can be a four or five-year contract. Why do, why do, what, like Mason Mount doesn't need to do a five-year contract. Yeah? It's Bowley that wants the seven-year contract. Because it puts Chelsea Football Club in a stronger position in four years' time where they want to renegotiate. And Mason Mount says, no, I don't like that. And they go and sell him. He's still got three years on his contract. So they'll get good money for him. That's how it goes in business, mate. That's how it goes. Do you know what I mean? That's how it goes. It's poor, mate. It's poor. It's really poor. And the funny thing is, you talk about the platforms, you talk about the the, the, the social media clowns, um, but yet the professionals in the game, the ones that are actually in the game, behind the scenes, they all play him. They all rate him fucking elite and highly. All the players talk so highly about him. But yet these Muppets that so-called Chelsea fans want to fucking throw him under the bus. They want to bring up the Portsmouth thing. Well, funny enough, go to Cristiano Ronaldo and ask him what's his first love as a football club and it'll be Sporting Lisbon. Go and ask Neymar about Santos. Yeah? Go and ask these players where they come from, where they're from, that they'll always have an underlying love for that club. It's no different to, to Mason out of Portsmouth. But he's been there since six years old at Chelsea. He loves his club. The geezer comes for the World Cup, arrives. Do you know what he's holding, bruv? He's holding a Chelsea bag. He's holding a Chelsea bag going to the England camp. He's done it for the Euros. He does it every time because he's Chelsea, mate. He loves his club, bruv. That's what he loves. So this is what it's all about, guys. It's what it's all about. You've got to understand it, mate. You've got to understand it, bruv. And the problem is you, you don't. And that's where you, you fall off a cliff and you look like a clown, muppet, wrong un, all of that. Do you know what I mean? All of that. Um, and it's just, it's just sad, mate. It's sad. And when he does sign his contract, I'm going to love it. And do you know what? All you fucking clowns, 
yeah hold off the contract no don't pay him that no he's got to perform at a high level no he needs to prove it to us you're all in the fucking mud you lost all your privileges celebrating Mason Mount's goals his fucking assists winning games his clutch fucking Champions League quarter final semi final final you you become two faced is what I'm saying. You become a snake. But when he's there, you'll ask for a selfie. You'll ask for a signed shirt. You want a picture. You want all of that jazz. You know, um, it's poor, mate. It's poor. It's fake. It's fake. And Cuckoo's a frontliner, you mug. What are you talking about? Is in Cuckoo a number eight, ten midfielder? <sighs> Mate, tells me about all your ball like you. You're a long way from Starbucks, geezer. 120 grand a week extension and two year extension, letting ball out of it. Shut up, Lewis, bruv. You're talking shit. You're talking shit. All right, this is what I'm saying. It's exactly, and you push out on your platforms. Yeah, you push out this narrative. You're all pushing it out. Every single one of you. I heard you all. I've heard every single one of you. I've heard every single one of you geezers. Yeah. Your disrespect and unappreciation of what he's delivered at your football club on his 88 grand a week and he's holding our club to ransom. Poor, mate. Poor. So poor. You see, these are the these are the ones, yeah, that don't rate Mason Mount. They make out they do on their platforms because, oh, apparently he's the poster boy. What a, what a wrong thing to say, poster boy, poster boy, yeah? When he's balling out and he has done it's like they reluctantly want to give him the praise. They want to fucking big him up. But when it's their other players that they love, they, they're fucking they big him up to big him up to the high heavens. That's the that's the going rate with these lot. And I get that. You know what I mean? Um, so no, it don't work like that. Mason Mount deserves his big contract. You got Sterling coming in, and like I say, and I'll say it again, all right? Make sure your ears are wide open so you can listen, yeah. Sterling got 300 grand because of what he's achieved at Manchester City, yeah? What he's done as a player, what he's won, he's won titles. He ain't won the Champions League though, has he? All right? But he's come to Chelsea for his payday, 300 grand a week. You're going with what he's done. That's why you're paying the money for him. So why is it not all right to be the same with Mason Mount? Why have we got to look at the right now? Not even a halfway through a season. So many fucking issues in our team. But, yeah, we're going to blame Mason Mount. We're going to say, no, he doesn't deserve it. We're going to disregard the three years he's performed at our football club on the 88 grand a week. Yeah, we're going to disregard that. It's irrelevant. It's in the past. So why wasn't the same energy used for Sterling, bruv? On that note, no, why should we pay him 300 grand? Pay him 150 grand, 200 grand. Do you know why? Because Manchester City were paying him high wages. He got more than what he's on at Manchester City, more than likely. But it's all right to 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 give Reese James 300 grand and not Mace Mount. This is what I'm saying, bruv. It's agenda, mate. It's just agenda. And I'm not here for it. It's weak. It's poor. It, it's like snakes, bruv. You know snakes that don't have spines, mate. That's what they are, these lot. Fucking snakes. Two-faced fucking rats. Yeah? And I'm done with it. I don't need to keep explaining it all the time. I can bring you up all his stats, all his achievements. I've done it countless times. The fact that they don't, they disregard that tells you how they view and think about Minnell's Mount. Outright disrespect. Outright disrespect. And when I see fucking Chelsea fans asking, calling for Mason Mount to go off for England for fucking Foden, bruv, Tells me, hey, you don't understand football and positions, yeah? You don't look at what Mason Mount offers to the team. And you're favouring a fucking Man City player over your star boy. It's disgusting. 
So I have to question these things. I have to question these things. But we all celebrate their fucking goals at Chelsea. We all celebrate their goal when he scores for England and assists for England. Yeah. We'll all celebrate that. And everyone's going to do a video, make some out balls out, and let's go do the going narrative. It's the same old shit. It's whatever goes. It's whatever goes. It's always like that. And and this, this was a shocker for me, yeah? This was an absolute shocker for me. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. Oh, wow. Let's bring this one up. Let's bring this one up. Make sure you hit the like button. Anyone of the haters in here, hit the like button. Do you know what I mean? You're in here for a reason. Big up to you. Let's have it right. Um, let me just get it up. I couldn't believe what I was reading. Brown envelope. Couldn't believe it. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here we've got Simon Johnson, yeah. Can't stand the geezer. Look what he's written. For club and country, Mason Mount has been used too negatively by the coach for too long. Just employed someone to press opponents in possession. Not saying he should have stayed on for the full 90, but he's better than that. Well, this is to Gareth Southgate giving instruction to Mason Mount to do. And what my point was, Mason Mount was leading, <coughs> leading the press. Why are the frontliners not leading the press? You look at the way Tuchel plays. You look at the way Liverpool play or Man City. You always start your press from the front line. Why the fuck is your number 10 having to press and lead the press all the time? It's, it's just like no one looks at him when he pressed the goalkeeper, the USA goalkeeper, and he, he stumbled it and had to root, rifle it out because he's under pressure after he bust his gut from the middle of the park to do that. No one else was busting their gut to press. This is the problem. It's the problem. It's too simplistic to say Foden for Mount, for example, would have changed our, our, or led to a different game. If you don't go on the attack from the outset, it doesn't matter who's the first in the first 11. It's true, mate. It's, it's about transitions. This is the problem. It's about transitions. And everyone got their bee in a bonnet about Jason Cundy coming out saying, I'm picking Mason Mount over Neymar. Now, you see, the narrative there was, right, that that fraud, Jamie O'Hara, Put those two players together. Who are you taking, Neymar or Mason Mount? When Neymar doesn't even... Like, you're, you're playing Mason Mount. He's more of an eight, yeah? He's more of an eight stroke ten. Neymar's just a, a ten. He's not an eight, yeah? But Cundy's 100% right in Land of Minerals. There's no way that Neymar is giving you the work rate for the team. He's not doing the other side of the game. The dark arts of the game. He's not doing that. Yeah, he's not doing that. He does it himself, selfishly with the ball, and he's a baller, and I want him at a club. But the difference is Mason Mount and Neymar play together. It's not one or the other. This is where the narrative is wrong. That's wrong. But Cundy's rightfully, as I would, I'm picking Mount over Neymar. Of course I am, 100%. There ain't no player like Mason Mount in world football. And this is where the wrongers don't understand about this player. They don't get it. Name me players that do what he does. You can't name me them. I've asked you. You're going to bring me James Milner? Shut up, bro. He's already got over, what? He's got 60, 70% of his stats already at 23 years old. Mason Milner's fucking, what's his name? Milner's 30, 37 years old. Mason Mount's going to fucking exceed that tenfold. Yeah? Where was Milner at Mason Mount's age? He was nowhere. Nowhere. Average player. And you're, that's the narrative, you see, with all these mizzies and all these fucking wrong uns, yeah, that come on their shitty platforms with their stinky agendas. It's pathetic. Talking about, I'm a Chelsea fan about my play. You're fucking wrong, mate. You're wrong. As I said, go and say it to uh, Mason Mount's dad, like you had him on your show. Tell him, tell him that you think his boy... He's like Mesa, like, uh, what's his name? James Milner. Go on, do it. I'm waiting for that stream. I'm waiting for that. It won't come, people. Clearly, it's not going to come. So, it is what it is, bruv. It is what it is.
no one in England and Chelsea can do what Mount does. No one. You take him out your side, you lose. You lose that, the pockets, the intelligence, the movement, the press. Everyone was talking about how he gets in between the lines and he stays in a position forcing, whether it's the midfielders of the opposition team or defenders, to decide whether to go to him or, or leave him. But they're only focused on the ball. And while the ball's being played elsewhere, Mason Mount's in a position and he'll be gone before you even get there. And it helps his teammates to break the lines to penetrate and create chances. No one's doing that. No one's doing that. No one's doing that. This is a very good point. Sterling ain't playing like a 300k sign, but no one bats an eyelid. Um, Man is uh, from our academy, one of the few, one of the few and very best that have come through since JT. Facts, minerals landed, Adam. And this is the thing: they'll say this. Oh, he needs a year to adjust. He needs a year. And the thing is, right? Sterling's had change of manager again, as did Kai Havertz, as has Mason Mount. All right. He's come from Manchester City, the strongest team in the country for how many years, with a complete team to come to Chelsea in a team that's in transition and building. And he's on 300 grand. No one says nothing about Sterling. But to, to, to sort of keep their narrative going on what they stand by. Oh, no, bench Sterling. Bench Sterling. But when you bench Sterling, bench him for who, bruv? Hakim Ziyech? Pulisic? inconsistent, fucking didn't want to be at our football club in the summer, at the end of the year. They're still there. So you playing. You have to play Sterling. You have to play Kai. You got, you got fucking Aubameyang liking tweets of troops and all that after our London derby. Shit like that. No loyalty, no respect. But we don't fucking butt an eyelid for these players and they're on big money. We don't say anything. When it's Mason Mount, we'll say it. When it's Kai Havertz, we'll say it. You know? This is a problem. No, we can't blame Mount. But this is the thing, Chelsea old boys. These Muppets, these clowns on these other platforms, they, 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 they feed into the narrative of everyone's scapegoating Mount. They feed into the narrative that he's not a good player, he's just an average player. They feed into the narrative he doesn't deserve a contract, he doesn't deserve the same money as Reese James or, or Raheem Sterling, yeah? They feed into that narrative of comparisons to average players. They feed into these narratives, bro. Continuously. Some go to games and some don't. I just put it, it's all for clicks. Anything with Mason Mount and, and, and it rockets. You know, it's just clickbaiting on social media. That's what it's all about. I, I, I tweet about it because I fucking mean it. And I say what I fucking believe and what I think. And if you don't like it, then don't follow me. Don't get in my mentions. You know what I mean? Don't subscribe to me. Don't fucking talk about it. Don't get personal with me. Yeah, you don't know me, sons. So this is the this is the problem. All right. They feed into this shit. They know what they're doing because they want about it's about channel growth. It's about pl people pleasing. It's about feeding the brown envelopes narrative. All right. But they don't understand the context that Bowley used the brown envelopes for this. It ain't Mount, Mount's camp. You think Mount's using brown envelopes? You're you're way off it, mate. You're way off it. While he's at the World Cup, you think they're thinking about that. Listen, he can sit to the end of his contract 
and he can go on a free and get a sign on fee and get a higher wage. He's in a strong position. He's Bowley that doesn't want to pay the money. Yeah, because he'd rather go and spend the transfer market and go and sign other players and pay them the big money because they don't value Cobb and players of that. That cost you nothing. That's the way it is. When you're homegrown, it's just like it's not valued like that. It's just the way it is. But he's valued. He should be valued like that. He should be respected like that. He's your future captain. So if a Manchester City going for, for Mason Mount, they're not only paying a huge signing on fee, all right, because he's a free transfer, they're also going to offer him a mega bumper contract because they want him and they want to compete with anyone else that wants to get him for free. And believe me, there's many clubs that want him. But you lot don't fucking know about it. Why would you? <laughs> Why would you? Um, so this is the thing. The brown envelopes put it out after the England game. And they've rifled up the fan base. They've got the fan base divided. Like he did, like they did for Tuchel. I ain't stupid, bruv. I'm fucking so switched on. I got my, my sources, mate. And I'm telling you now, Bowley, billionaire for a reason, yeah? I don't trust him. Proof's in the pudding. But I'll tell you this now, just like they did with Tuchel, they're doing it with Mason Mount, and they'll do it with any other player, all right? They didn't sack Thomas Tuchel knowing they weren't going to keep him. They led him on, they used his name, and after the transfer window, they got rid of him because of the results, and he knew that there was bad eggs in the team, and Tuchel was pissed off that these bad eggs like Pulisic and fucking Ziyech wouldn't leave. And they didn't sell him because they Bowley's never going to sell his beloved Pulisic. The amount of money that Giza makes for him, he's not going to do that. And he's American, and you've got the World Cup. It's, it's a no brainer. He ain't going nowhere. Tuchel didn't want him. Tuchel wanted Richarlison. Can you believe it? <laughs> he wanted De Jong. He wanted all these players, bruv. Declan Rice. Didn't get any of them. <clears throat> so Tuchel said, fuck it. Sack me then. Pay my money. But they'd done it. Once the results and the way the team was playing and we had all the injuries, it was perfect. The fan base was already starting to be divided. You had Rory Jennings, the toss pot he is, pushing out his Tuchel out agenda. You had all these Muppets like Nini going on Talk Sport, digging at Tuchel. You had all the other guys digging at Tuchel, all you other platforms digging at Tuchel, yeah? All right? The majority. Feeding into the to the brown envelopes and the, the, the campaign against Chelsea and that whole narrative. Everyone fed into that. <clears throat> and it divided the fan base. It's how you use the media. And these billionaires are fucking elite at it. And that's exactly what they're doing with Mason Mount right now. He's at the World Cup. He's concentrating on England, not his fucking contract, bro. All he wants to do is win for England, win for Chelsea. He's not thinking about his contract. Yeah? So all of this coming out is, is very, very suspicious. The timing of it is not right. And the brown envelopes are paid. And it's come from uh, Sam Geezer from Daily Mail. They're the worst credible fucking sources you can go with. And this is the problem. They're used, guys. These people are used to push out this information. That's what they're there for. And it suits Bowley because now you're dividing the fan base. People turning on Mason Mount, going, let him leave. He's not... We're not going to pay him 300 grand. No, no, no. But we'll bring in a Felix. We'll bring in a fucking um, Declan Rice or Bellingham. We'll pay them 300 grand because we're happy with that. Yeah, yeah, we're happy with that because they don't rate the player or whatever it is. They've got shit in their eyes, whatever it is, yeah. Um, and and Bowley's playing on that. He's trying to force Mason out to sign a contract. That's the real fucking truth. That's the real actual narrative. But you don't want to push that out. You people, maybe you don't know about it. Maybe you ain't got the knowledge. Maybe you don't see things. Maybe you don't know how the world ticks, mate. Um, whatever it is, that's what's going on. And you're all falling for it, as you all do. Yeah, you all fall for it. You fall for the brown envelopes all the time. Um, so I can't help you there. But that, that, is, that, that is what's going on. Um, and look at the way there is there is a divide now. More and more hate, more and more slander. More and more bitching and moaning, um, all to suit their agenda. And it's poor, guys. It's very poor. You need to look at yourselves in the mirrors, mate.
Whatever, bruv. Whatever. <coughs> oh dear. What's everyone saying? Listen, hit the like button. I ain't give a shit if you subscribe. Just hit the like button at the very least. Smash the like button, guys. And no, Lewis, I'm not having Lewis on. Everyone, all you little, his little brown envelopes are wanting him on when he's got fucking people calling me a cunt on his platform. Doesn't fucking say nothing. Doesn't back me knowing me when we go to games and you fucking tolerate that shit from your toss pots on your platform and all your fucking agenda merchants, yeah? Calling me a cunt and this and that and mocking me and shit like that. Fuck that, bruv. It's something called loyalty, something called respect. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And all these mugs doing reactions of reactions of reactions. You fucking, you're all Muppets. All of you are. You're all fucking Muppets. I can't even watch that. I couldn't bear to watch that shit. I wouldn't watch that shit. You know, I just get people, get, get DMs all the time. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. No, I ain't going to watch that shit. When it's all the fucking haters, all my little haters in a little group, like having a tea party, coming at me, calling me names, getting personal, trying to call me racist and shit like that. People tell me this stuff. Yeah. I see it all, mate, and I hear it all. People show me, yeah? I don't tolerate that shit on here, yeah? Ask Steve why he's not why he's not on my channel anymore. Geezer won't even fucking DM me, yeah? Because he got fucking out of line with Mitchie, bruv. One of my loyal, loyalist fucking members and uh, subscribers. Getting personal and stupid. I don't tolerate it. It happens once and you're off. And that's it. Tony hasn't been on because of it. Whatever the fucking it is, yeah? There's reasons to all this stuff. But this is all politics. I don't give a shit. I've got nothing with Tony. Tony, I love the geezer. I've got respect for him. But this is the thing, guys, yeah? you got to understand, all right? There's fucking boundaries and there's levels to this game. You want to get personal, get personal to my fucking face. Don't get personal on your chats and in my DMs and on your fucking uh, chats and all this shit. What, what, what kind of man are you? What do you represent? I'm not having it anymore. I'm not having it anymore. Yeah. I can give a fuck who you know, what you, who you associate yourselves with. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I've got fucking boundaries, respect levels as a fucking human being. Yeah. I won't accept that shit. This is football. This is about opinions, and opinions are shocking, mate, these days. Piss poor. But you want to get personal, bruv. I'm just saying it as it is. I'm done with it. I'm done with all these people. Yeah, they only want me for whatever they can get, bruv. And I'm done with all that shit. I don't like that shit. I come at fucking Matisse and, and Eunice and fucking Gunny, you, fu you fucking, oh, don't come at them. They're all right. No, they're not all right, bruv. They're not fucking all right. Their narratives they push out on their platforms is dog shit, bruv. Yeah? It's, it's garbage. It's wrong. I don't give a shit who they are. You know what? A lot of these ones, yeah, they're just like poor man. They're poor man's fucking Rory Jennings, bruv. Every single one of them. It's like they all want to be a Rory Jennings, bruv. 
Every single one of them. I come at other YouTubers for their shit opinions and their platforms that they've got. They've got a responsibility to push out opinions, yeah? Push out fucking narratives. And they've been pushing out shit narratives, bruv. Toxic narratives. Feeding into the fucking narrative like a Rory Jennings does. Yeah? Clickbaiters. Because they want to grow and be celebrities. I'm not in it for that game. You think I want to be a celebrity? I want to I want to fucking li make a living off this. I've got my job. I've got my life. This is just me for, for have fun. And enjoy it. But everyone wants to get personal, bro. I'm a passionate Chelsea fan. And I don't accept bollocks. And that's exactly what I do. But I never once get personal, bruv. I won't get personal, bruv. Never. I don't have to answer to anyone. I don't have to do anything for anyone. I just do me and I enjoy it. And my viewers, the real viewers, the real ones that support my channel, they all understand, they get it, yeah? They all get it. Every single one of them gets it. You think if a Don Robbie came to me and says, I want you on my channel, I'd go, no, I'm good, mate. Thank you very much. Not taking no brown envelopes from an Arsenal fucking geezer. That's my respect, mate. That's my loyalty, mate. I won't do it. No chance. Fuck no. I won't do it, bruv. I won't do it. I've heard some real bad shit, bruv. Disowned, disowned fucking people like it's nothing, bruv. Going to their houses and eating and being close to them and then just disown them like that. So it is what it is, bruv. It is what it is. I can give a shit, mate. I don't do it for the fame, mate. I do it for my Chelsea and I do it for talking football. This is why I set my fucking channel up because I was done with going on all these other platforms with all these toxic muppets, it was always me against the whole panel every single time. It was like, oh, why are you You're in your echo chamber? Like, everyone else ain't in an echo chamber. Do you know what? Do you know what's beautiful about this platform, about me? I can say what I want when I want, and not have anyone giving it the big one, yeah? Because they're all quick to give it the big one, all right? They do it on their own channels, but when they've come on my channel, they're like Cheshire Cats, yeah? They're all like fucking Cheshire Cats. I've even had people that come in my, my chat and they go on other platforms and when they've got Mason Mount being slandered, they don't fucking back him. They don't back the players. But on here, it's a different narrative. This is the problem, guys. You know, we've got, we got influencers in this game. There's a lot of influencers and they're, they're pushing out all this stuff. Mate. Do you know what I mean? I'm not beefing with anyone. I ain't got anything with anyone. I'm just saying it as it is. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm just seeing it. I'm saying it as it is and how I see it. And that's it, bruv. End of. You know what I mean? End of. Um, while you're at it, like the video, guys. Like the video.
guys like the video let me know what likes someone at the very least let me know what likes someone do you know what i mean let me know and listen uh messi doug landed the minnows tonight he landed the minnows tonight he pulled out the goal that got him through and let's have it right roy Keane weren't wrong was he that he was like watching championship football with uh argentina bruv 77 that tells me it's piss poor guys piss poor i should be on at least 150 likes 150 likes 150 likes no i don't think potter has to go i, I think potter is at the moment the way i'm looking at it, it could be a bit of a yes man i think he's a bit of a yes man um but that remains to be seen but he needs to be given a bit of time and chance you know if you're not going to give that time to tuchel under his new ownership then you've got to give it to someone and potter's this guy that they've invested in they brought in the whole backroom staff all his team they're bringing in all these different directors um and you need to get a director of football it's absolutely a must Bowley cannot be the director of football um <coughs> and for me potter needs to be back one he's got my full back in i believe in his blueprint i believe in i think he's got the minerals to to take us where we need to go and 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 have an identity but it's not going to happen overnight and you've got to remember this squad this squad and this team is another year older two years older under two call now he's inherited that we've actually let go of a lot of players in our in our overall squad we haven't replaced with enough. We need to replace with good quality. We've got a lot of contract negotiations and renewals happening with Kant, Angel, Gino. We don't know what's happening with Loftus Cheek, Ziyech, Pulisic, all these players. Is 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 Abamyang going to jog on? I think I'll get rid of Abamyang. I don't want him at my football club. I don't want Abamyang. It's fucking. He's a gooner. I don't want him. Um, I never wanted him in the first place. Um, and then they need to. They need to ask Potter what he actually wants, what players he wants, and actually uh, suit, it suits his, his blueprint and his way of playing. Because if we don't have that, then it's like, what's the point? You know, you're, you're, you you want a yes man, all right, but you're going to go and make all the signings. Well, you might as well pick the team then. Because what's, the, what's Potter there for? You can't just go and sign all these talents and just go to Potter, yeah, make it work. You know, that's the same model that Roman had. You know, and if it didn't work, you're out the door and we get another manager in that can do it. I don't want that model. I want a model of stability, of longevity to build. Klopp's at it. He's won, he's successful. There and thereabouts. Pep's been there eight years, successful. Arteta's in his fourth year, only won an FA Cup, hasn't made Champions League football and he's doing well now. Um, or Even Oli got three years. We haven't had a manager that's had a gaffer that's had three years. So we need to give this opportunity to Potter. You know, it doesn't matter who you bring in, all right? With this group of players, there is a lot of a lot of unbalance in the team. There's a lot of positions that need to be to be filled. We need Declan Rice, we need Bellinghams, we need um these Alvarez type players, we need um something better up front. You know, I'm done with all these mercenaries like Lukaku and Abamyangs. They're shit. They're not good enough. You know, everyone's creaming themselves over this Enzo guy at Argentina. No one fucking knew about him. All of a sudden, he scored a, a lovely goal. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's World Cup tax. You've got to be wary of that. You've got to be wary of that. And knowing Bowley, he's going to go out and do stupidness like that. And then he comes to Premier League and we don't know what to expect. He's got a, an Argentinian player has got to adjust to Premier League. Just an example, hypotheticals. Um, but you, 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 yeah, I agree with Michael Edwards. I think you need to get someone of that calibre in our football club, yeah, who knows what they're doing, has the experience, has the connections, and, and and can connect the dots behind dots behind the scenes for everything to work in full motion. And right now, it's very dis, disjointed. Um, it's very disjointed. The team's disjointed. So uh, we have to see what happens. But yeah, no. Potter does not have to go, mate. I would, I would definitely say no to that. Um, anyone who's Potter out, I've we've seen a few people coming out of Potter out already, and I think it's just ridiculous because you sack that manager, you're in the same situation. You, you have to go to an elite manager, and we had an elite manager in Thomas Tuchel, but yet they sacked him. So it's like, you know, 
which which worries me a little bit because Tuchel was the right man for the job and you need to build with him, but he wasn't a yes man. So he's Potter a yes man, someone who's at a lower level who can be dictated um, to, to a degree. And that's what's allowed him to get the job. <coughs> Aside from, you know, his, his attractive football and his blueprint, but it took him time to do that at Brighton, which is hard. But they didn't achieve nothing at Brighton. They just kept in the, their main target was staying in the Premier League. It's different gravy at Chelsea, different mustard, mate, because you have to be right at the top competing at all fronts. And Potter hasn't done that with any football club. So it's a massive jump. Has he got the minerals and the mentality to adjust to that? Has he got the ability to manage these, these cropper players, these, these players of this ilk? They're not like Brighton players, mate. These players are Champions League winners, Club World Cup, Super Cup winners. They're top four. They play regular Champions League football. You know, it's a mix of young and old and experienced. Um, we've got a, long of, a lot of wrong transfers, wrong decisions being made. You know what I mean? So we have to take that all into, um, into consideration. Um, just a wee super chat to annoy the wrong ones. <laughs> Big up to the Mitchie boy, bruv. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, if you look at managers, yeah, blueprint of a, of a top level, you could look at Luis Enrique. He's got a lovely blueprint, he's doing very well. We'll see what happens tomorrow. If <laughs> if Spain beat Germany, Germany out of the World Cup, which is unbelievable. And they got Hans Flick. Flick is a top manager. He can't be that top if he's fucking, you know, I'm not saying Germany are of that, you know, the old Germany. I don't think they're quite there. They have got quality players. Um, and he's proven at Bayern Munich, he's got a blueprint that works. But, Luis Enrique, if he goes and beats Germany, you've got to look at Luis Enrique and think, well, this guy's a top manager. I think he could be the successor to Pep Guardiola. And this is where I have to question, you know, why are we not doing stuff like that? Why are we not looking at that? Because of inexperience, inexperience with the ownership, inexperience of football, inexperience of, of knowing the right people. Um, but, Potter's, Potter's our guy. Potter's our gaffer. And I'm going to back him, bro. I'm going to back him all the way. <clears throat> you know, I, 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 I rate him. I've always rated Enrique. Um, he done all right for Barcelona, if I'm not right, if I'm wrong. I should be right. I have to check it out. How he, how he did at Barcelona, but he's, he's, you can see he's building something with a Spanish squad and it's, it's a different era. It's not your Xavi's, Iniesta's, Busquets now. It's, it's moved on. You've got your Gabby's, your Pedri's, you got even Morata's in there. You got, you got mad play. You know, you've got some really good players in there of talent, of young, young, new blood um, from, from Barcelona. And he's, he's using them and he's getting them to play the way Spain want to play a lot of passing pass you to death i love all that i love all that but they do it with with bite you know they can hurt you they just don't just pass sideways you know they they, they find they find a way in there's always a way to they break you down and pep's very like that as well pep's taking that model from barcelona he took it to Bayern munich and now he's brought it to manchester city he spent a lot of money but he's done it and this is what i'm saying if you give the manager what they want, because you know their blueprint works, it will work. But all this pride shit and all this, I'm the daddy of the football club and I'm, I am I run the show, which is how we've been with Roman. You know, he's the Don. He says exactly, you know, I want this player. I'm going to buy that player. A few exceptions with maybe Jose Marino or whatever. You know, Ron, he wanted Ronaldinho and Jose says, no, I want Drogba. Don't speak, yeah. Just do what I do. What I ask. These managers I've named, they've they've been given that, but Potter hasn't yet. Tuchel hasn't. 
and you've got to respect Tuchel what he did with his squad of players because it's clear that we've had five previous managers and a mix of all these different players of different uh, they they suit different formations tactics they've got different attributes um they're not versatile as we think and Tuchel's come in and he's tried to steady the ship and get the best out of the group of players Potter hasn't got the experience to do that and this squad that he's trying to do it with which is what Tuchel had is even older with more issues more, same old injuries again and we have to qu question our medical department a little bit here you know we're getting fucking injuries galore you know why why are we getting all these injuries yeah um <clears throat> why have we not bought why did Bowley not buy a backup to Reese James if we had a backup to Reese James then we'd fucking we wouldn't have him injured would we, we wouldn't have to keep playing him every game you know I just I don't understand it it's common sense it's logical we're football supporters we're, we're supporters of our club and we can see it why can't these fucking owners see it why the track record you bought a football club you look at the track record. You look at last season because it's the closest. You could see we lost Chilwell and Reese James and we went fucking down a cliff because we play a wing-back system. You, you didn't go and buy a backup. You bought Cucurella, but you didn't buy anyone on the right. I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. So let's see what we do in the January transfer window. It's a big transfer window, this, for Chelsea to hopefully elevate us to get top four. We need top four. And I've, I've stressed this countless times, yeah? All right? We are... Uh, Lampard got us top four. Tuchel's got us top four. Pot has to get us top four. Because at the end of the day, right, this squad is, is capable of getting top four. It's capable. Something's not right. You're making 52 changes in 14 games. It's far too many changes. You can't be doing that, bro. You cannot be doing that. You don't get any consistency, no chemistry, no rhythm, um, no momentum to build form. So you're always at a, you know, you're starting from the from the ground up always, every game. There's nothing to build upon. Is what it is, bruv. Is what it is. Guys, let me know what the likes are on. Get me to 150 likes at the very least. Big up to everyone in here. Well, this is the problem, Chelsea old boys. They don't understand that when you bring in a rice, what a uh, rice position. Fuck it. Doesn't even have to be rice. But Rice, for me, is one of the best in the world right now. Um, if you put him in our team, he unlocks a lot of options tactically. He frees up. Look at Bellingham and Rice together. It, it, it allows Mount to, to get into those pockets free and not have to overwork all the time. When you've got Georgino Kovacic without a Kante, you know, and you've got Loftus-Cheek in there and a Gallagher in a six, who's not a six. Even a Loftus-Cheek's not a six. You have to do extra work to compensate for missing a cante in that middle of the park. Um, and you you have to protect Georgino all the time. Um, when you have a natural DM, you know, there's nothing saying that Rice can't play with Georgino, you know. And you have you have Rice that can do that dog work. And it, it allows um, Mount to play in that midfield free with Georgino, for example, yeah. And you've got, you've got that, 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 that balance. You've got Declan Rice who, if Georgina gets caught out of position or in a in a transition, he can slot back in, he can recover, he's got legs to do it, and he can slot into a centre back position as well. You know, when you're playing a back four, you can go into a, a back three wing back and compact within the game. You can change your formations within the game. Declan Rice gives you that as a D as a as a as as that good as a DM he is. But we don't we don't have anyone like that. We're very kind of one dimensional in that sense. Um and this is the problem. And and what it does, it doesn't just unlock Mason Mount, it unlocks all of your attackers. It means you can play your natural free attackers and Mason Mount in the midfield. 
and and this is what I'm saying. Like we haven't had this opportunity. This, this is what I'm saying, bro. So Bowley is but he's but he's basically inheriting. He's he's brought in personnel from Manchester City, a couple. I think that Shields guy and someone else. So he he wants that inside information. He wants to go along that model, not the FSG. So for me, um, that needs time to be implemented. Needs time. Um, we haven't had that time. Um, we need to see what they do in the Jan January transfer window. And let's see what players they get and if they're the right positions. A lot of people talk about Dec uh, Declan Rice, you know, West Ham are, Brandon is pushing, but they're expecting to sell. You know, they, they're, they're willing to listen to offers, yeah? But I, I, it's unrealistic for me to think that Declan Rice comes in the, in the January window. I'd love him to. I'd pay the money and get him in and it could salvage our season. I think Kante, after his surgery could be a new player for us at the age he is, but we'd have a fit Kante. But let's have it right, yeah? When Kante is fit, he's world-class. There's no one in the world like N'Golo Kante. He cannot replace him, bruv. There's no other player like N'Golo Kante, all right? Absolute legend, yeah? If he comes back, it was the injuries that was holding him back. He, he was coming back and he was getting injured. Coming back and getting injured, Yeah. If this surgery stops that and you can manage him correctly, not burn him out, then I think we've still got a player for the next two years. You sign him for two years, give him a bumper deal for two years with a one-year extension, and you keep going. Okay. If you want to win titles, if you want to win Champions Leagues, you've got to have an N'Golo Kante. You have to. This geezer relentlessly... We'll chase that ball for 95 minutes without breathing, bruv. He's just unbelievable. So we need that player in our team. And I think you can sacrifice Jorginho if, if he wants too much money and he's 31, 32, whatever. Um, or he could be good as a squad player. But I think you need to start looking ahead of these players now because that's that era. Now we're building upon that. Let's build upon it. But in Golo County, for me, I'm keeping him like I, I want to see how he is after surgery. And hopefully this this reoccurring hamstring doesn't keep happening. And if it if it doesn't happen after surgery and he stays fit, mate, we got a baller, guys. We might have a rejuvenated in Golo Kante. We know he, he he works so hard for the team. We know how important he is to our football team. And he's he's a he's a mineral in there that is irreplaceable, you know. Um, so we need to we need to see how that pans out, and I'm, I want him back as soon as possible. Rhys James hopefully will be back after the World Cup. So if Rhys James is back after the World Cup, you know that gives us a little boost as well um, because we haven't got any quality on his in his position. There's no one good enough consistently that can fill fill out. Um, and. The results with N'Golo out of our team. You can see the difference. Look at the way we played it against Spurs. Dominated them. And Gala Kante was unbelievable in that game. Yeah. And then he gets injured. And that's it. We don't Tuchel doesn't even work with him after that. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm not writing off N'Golo Kante just yet. And then Chilwell, well, we don't know what's going to happen with Chilwell. Is Chilwell going to come even come back the same player? You know, he, he could have been managed a little bit better by Potter, you know, a little bit. You know, you didn't need to play him in that, that game against, was it Salzburg? Um, at home, he could have, I don't know. I would love that Chelsea old boys. Kante, uh, Alvarez, I don't know much about. Um, I, I saw him as a panic buy. Um, but he's young and he's, you know, youngish. Um, and then Rice, Mount, De Jong would be wonderful. I want De Jong. I've always wanted De Jong, actually. Or Bellingham. I think I think you get Rice or Bellingham. I don't think you get both. And I think Bellingham's going to go to City. 
personally, I think it'll go City. Um, Rice will go, will choose Chelsea even if we don't get top four because I think he's not he's not even used to playing Champions League. He'll sacrifice that. He'll get a good deal. He wants to play for Chelsea Football Club, so you've got to respect that. And if he comes, you know he's coming because he wants about Dick Lamise. Um And De Jong, I don't know, he's a bit... De Jong's a bit of a dodgy one, mate. I just... I don't believe anything. that Does the geezer even want to leave? Is he going to leave? Um, yeah, Casado's a good shout as well. Casado's a great shout. You know, he's a, he looks a great little player. But I'd, learning the days, whatever, whatever Potter wants, mate. If if he wants these players, he's got to get them. Big up uh, to Diego uh, Roja Rojas. Big up to you, Giza, for your soup minerals donated. Write something in the comments, man. You should have written something. Should have written something. Um. Yeah, we've got Lewis Hall as well. Yeah, 300 million on the midfield. Listen, um, I'm all for it, guys. I'm all for it. Oh, you know, I'm happy with... Um, I'm happy with that. I don't really care, mate. I, 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 it's come to a point where I just want us to be... I want us to. Be, I want the transition to be as quick as possible. I don't want it to be like an Arsenal four years. You know, it's too long. We're Chelsea, mate. Like... Uh, if you don't get top four, it slows your it slows your transition, your building process down. It, it makes it a lot harder to attract the top talent that you want to attract because you're not in the Champions League. And and I don't, you know, it, it takes you back. Is if you get top four, it allows you to to add to what you got, clean out, and still be at the top level and attract these players. Because whether you like it or not, these top-tier players, they want Champions League football. At the very least, they want to play Champions League football. If you, don't, if you can't offer them that, then it's like... You know what I mean? Um, big up, Diego. Johnny, why do you... Why why you just want Rice? Casado's having a great season and World Cup. Better than Rice and De Jong. Uh, well, he's different to De Jong. They're both different to De Jong. De Jong, for me, is... He's that sort of like, I'll put him in that sort of Modric bracket type player. He's still, what, 25? He's got ability to find a pass from deep. He could be that Fabregas type little player. Um, and I think he plays with a Declan Rice and a Mason Mount. Uh, for me, if, if I, I, I said previous on streams, my, my dream midfield would be Declan Rice, De Jong and Mason Mount. That's my, that for me has got everything in that midfield that you would want. You can rotate with Kante, Kovacic. That is blockbuster. You can go and win the title with that. Sort out your striker. Um, get rid of Pulisic. Get rid of, unless he put performs this year, but I can't see Bailey saying Pulisic because of what he what he offers marketing wise. Um, get rid of Zia; she's a fucking absolute bum, you know. Houdini himself disappears himself. There's no magic out of that geezer. Um, get rid of him, which we're hearing rumours already in January. I'm all for that. And then you got um, you're going to keep Sterling. Obviously, he's on a four year deal, five year deal. Um, Havertz, we don't know what's going to happen to Havertz. He's got, what, two years left on his contract? We could lose money on Havertz if he goes. So you need to re-sign him or whatever. Um, and in your defence, you still need, for me, you need another two defenders now. You can have Thiago Silva on his last legs, so you need to replace him, and you need another one. Um, There's a lot of players to be bought. That's a lot of money to be spent. Do you know what I mean? That's a lot of money to be spent. But at the end of the day, we need the the, the it's the transitions that are killing us and killing our front line. We're too slow with them. The the I've always said it: the quicker you play the football, 
the quicker you pass the ball, the quicker you move the ball, the quicker your teammates can be more elite off the ball and get into these positions quickly at pace so that the opposition hasn't got time to react. We don't do that enough. We do not do that enough. Savit, it right. We succeed with no divine right. We're fucking Chelsea, mate. Yeah. We're the best team in London, mate. We're the most elite. We've won it all, mate. Yeah. We got every right to be the way we are. We deserve Champions League football. We are fucking Champions League, mate. We could still go and win it this year. We could still go and win it this year. <laughs> I low key hate Reese to prop up Mount. No, what? So I call Reese world class. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm low key in digging at him, am I? <laughs> oh, man. What are you lot on, mate? I don't know. You're on some fucking sauce, mate. Don't know what you're on. And like I say, everyone's giving up on Kai Averts. I ain't giving up on Kai Averts, mate. No chance. Not me, bruv. Not me. Not me. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Guys, hit the like button. I can't believe I'm under 100 likes. That's shocking, mate. Absolutely shocking, bruv. Yeah? Absolutely shocking. Uh... It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. In fact, this is funny, yeah, because before all these Muppets uh, were talking about Reese James, I went on interview, live on interview, and I called him world-class before fucking anyone did, all right? That's a fact, and I can back it. No one was calling him world-class. I was the one that called him world-class. And uh, I'm the one that's digging out at Reese James to prop mount. You're, you're wrong ones, man. You're wrong ones, bruv. Wrong ones, mate. So it is what it is, mate. It is what it is. So, guys, before uh, we end, wrap it up, yeah? Uh, I just want to remember, I've, I've lost track of, I've just gone with a flow on this one. Um... Was I going to bring up something? You see. Uh, where is it, bruv? Oh, mate, so many wrongers, bruv, in this game, mate. Honestly, they really are, mate. It was funny, actually, because, uh, what is it, that Barstool, they put out, oh, yeah, uh, Mace Mount doesn't even start for um, LA, whatever the fuck they are, yeah, in the MLS. And I said, well, funny enough, Pulisic doesn't even start for Chelsea. So what are we saying here? You know... Um, they love to give it these lot. They love to give it, um, but they don't like to fucking receive it. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully they can do one with their fucking agenda. You know what I mean? Dylan White just landed the minerals. What did he say, bruv? Oh, Henrik, I haven't seen Enzo enough, mate. I've only seen a bit of him tonight and it was a good, lovely little goal, but I can't just go by a goal. Uh, I need to see him consistently or or research him. Do you know what I mean? I need to I need to I need to research this sort of player. I'm not going to get overhyped like they did with James Rodriguez and look at him, bro. Do you know what I mean? Um
Where is it? Oh, he just won his boxing match. <laughs> oh, fair play, bruv. Let's have it right. He's landing minerals. Fair play to him. Fair play to him, bruv. Fair play. Um, but listen, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Big up to every single one of you in here. Before you go, hit the like button. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Hit notifications. Big up to uh, all my members, uh, all you guys in here. Uh, big up to every single one of you. Do you know what I mean? Um, keep supporting the channel and all that jazz. Do you know what I mean? Enjoy it. And uh, there'll be plenty to talk about. And I'll try and do some more streams as the week progresses. Uh, probably later now because of all the World Cup games. So I'll probably do it like 9, 9.30ish. If I'm going to do stream share. And uh, that's the way I'm going to go with it. But um, big up to all you guys. Don't forget um, on the... Um, <clears throat> i got the TikTok. Bruv, I couldn't believe it, mate. Yeah. Go and, go and check out the TikTok, bruv. It's mental. Um, done it for a laugh, really. But Minerals FC TikTok. We've got Twitter. We've got Instagram. We've got, obviously, YouTube and that. We've got Twitch as well. I think it's Minerals, Minerals underscore FC for Twitch and TikTok. So go and check that out, guys. And um, like I say, big up to all you guys supporting. Um, appreciate everyone in here. And um, I'll bring you... Um, <clears throat> I will. I'll do some streams after England and all that. Because we're playing 7 o'clock, aren't we? Um, it's, the, the next one's a late one as well. Gets Wales. That's a juicy one. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, big up. Big up Dino in here. Um, smash the likes, subscribe, all that jazz, land your minerals, guys. And maybe I'll see you Tuesday, yeah? And uh, we'll take from there. But don't forget to put your comments down below in uh, at the end of the stream. Um, give me your feedbacks and all that. And, um, and we move, guys. But as always, big up to all you guys, man. Up the Chelsea, up the Minerals FC. Um, stay safe. Keep winning. Land your minerals everywhere you go. And I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'm right, Friday, London. London is blue, let's have it right. Up the chills, up the middle, let's see, let's go. Oh, Fucking minerals, mate.